on YouTube. This is a uh, 3040 CNC I just picked up. I had to uh, make a parallel cable. It is the TD model. And on the back, I had a couple spare DB25 males. And I've got the PWM actually on and off working on the spindle. So I can control it from Mach 3. And there is Mach 3 running on the PC with a Walter Dell uh, XP Professional with a service pack on it. Still have that disc and I'm glad I hold on to it. But I've got everything functioning. We have the Y axis, X axis, and the Z axis. I can get it here. Next we'll be adding uh, limit switches. So there'll be one at the lowest point of the Z down here. And then I'll put another switch so it bumps the top here. And I'll put the switches here and here so they hit this plate and they hit this plate. Other than that, glad I got it running. Picked this up off the uh, Facebook Classifieds. Very, very cheap. And one thing I was missing was the parallel cable on the PC, and luckily I had a Dell old Omniplex 740 that had a DB25 on it. Threw a hard drive in it and installed XP, and now I've got a uh, little more precise CNC. I've got a uh, 24x48 Lowrider 2 that I've been using for a couple months and wanted something a little more precise. I'm going to get the uh, fourth axis, which mounts here with the stepper so you can do uh, rotating work pieces and I will be upgrading the uh, spindle to an 800 watt water cooled getting a new mount 3D printed here so that will replace this whole piece and the bushings will fit in it but other than that it's running good if you have any questions just post it below My Lowrider 2, my 24x48 CNC, it's belt driven. Um, so it's a little less precise. This one's driven by the threaded rods that you can see spinning. These are solid aluminum gantries. Well, the unit weighs about 35, 40 pounds. It's pretty heavy. It's got the T-Track on top. But if you have any questions, this is actually one of the Chinese zone CNC's. They make them all different sizes, but this was 30 by 40. I just, uh, Looked up on a killer deal, it popped up on Facebook. And I had plugged one of my portable hard drives in the front. I don't have the uh, PC hooked up to the network or anything. It's just a standalone CNC controller with the Mach 3. I'm going to play around with it for a while. I may end up going to a Tiny G and running a uh, Chili Pepper. Um, but as long as this runs fine, I'll use this for a little while. Like I said, the spindle, I'm going to swap it out with an 800 watt water cool. And it's got plenty of power with these small steppers. If not, I'll upgrade them at some point.
If you have any questions, just post them below and I'll try to answer them. Like I said, this is a next step in my CNC and I plan on uh, taking my Lowrider 2 and bumping it back up to a 4x8, which is what it originally comes in the kit. Just got to get two uh, stainless steel tubes. They're going to be four foot across, about four and a half foot, and make, build a larger table. I'll be able to do full 4x8 sheets. And I'll use this one for my smaller work. I do my uh, small anniversary signs and milling metal. But please like and subscribe and share this.